Hello everyone. In this Hyaline Shorts, I am going to tell you about a bullous pemphigoid, an autoimmune blistering disorder of the skin and the mucosal epithelium. Right? This usually occurs in elderly and bulla will not rupture easily and they will heal without scarring. In this condition, autoantibodies are formed against hemidesmoproteins which is consisting of two proteins BPAG1 and BPAG2. So BPAG1 and BPAG2 is a bullous pemphigoid antigen which will attach epidermal cells to the basement membrane and because of this autoantibodies this will be destroyed and blistering will be only because of BPAG2 destruction so please remember blistering is associated with BPAG2 only right in case of uh, bullous pemphigoid when you are going to see the clinical case you are going to find a tense bulla filled with a clear fluid and their epithelium will be intact as you can see their epithelium is intact right these are all tense bulla with clear fluid and on histopathological examination you will find there is a epidermis and below the epidermis there is a clear space which is containing some inflammatory cell so this clear space is this sub epidermal blister so sub epidermal non acantholytic blister that is very important it is non acantholytic entire entire epidermis has been separated from the dermis and this is containing lymphocyte and eosinophilic inflammation so you can see eosinophils are there lymphocytes are there and you can notice mast cells are also present in this right and on immunofluorescence microscopy you are going to see there is a linear dermoepidermal junction is staining which is containing the immunoglobulin and complement so this type of linear immuno staining you can see this green line is going on fluorescent line is going on this is called ribbon candy linear immunofluorescence if you like this subscribe this share with your friends enjoy learning best wishes